Welcome back. Time for Thirsty Thursday. Now, a classic brunch cocktail is stealing the spotlight on September 14th. Yes, it's the Bloody Mary Festival. Mm, 16 of the best bloodies from restaurants and bars around the Portland metro are under one roof for the title of Best of the Best. Attendees get to taste test them all and vote on their favorite. We're the, we're the winners. Yeah, Us. honestly, <laughs> anyone who goes is the winner that day. Randy Jackson is the bar manager at Fireside in Northwest Portland. He's with us this, this morning to talk about what he's making for the festival. Good morning. Good morning. Great uh, to have you here. Oh, thank you for having us on the show. Yeah, yeah. thanks for being here. Before we get into specifically what you're entering for this year, let's just kind of talk about the, the Bloody Mary in general. I mean, what what makes it such a, a time-tested, you know, tried and true brunch cocktail? I mean, Bloody Marys have been around for forever, as long as, you know, as far as I can remember. Yeah. Uh, bartending for 25 plus years, we've always had a Bloody Mary on the menu. Nice. Um, it's a morning drink. I think for it's uh, it's for people that might need to imbibe a little bit in the morning after they've had a little too much the the night before. It, uh -huh. is, it is very uh, much a good a, hair of the dog choice. Little hangover cocktail. Yes. When yep. you just can't do anything super sweet. I have some friends who order Bloody Marys at night. Is that weird? Um, you know that's probably one of the least ordered cocktails that yeah. we have, but okay. we always have it ready to go because there oh. is the the ultimate Bloody Mary lovers out there that always want to Bloody I Mary. So. I'm gonna, I was going to recommend Fireside for them. Yeah. Yeah. I, always, I always look at them so, really, that's yeah. what you're going <laughs> you're with. Gonna, you're going to go with that? All right, why not? <laughs> well, I, it is uh, the best of the best here with the Bloody Mary Festival. So when yes. you are bringing your Bloody Mary to the game, you got to have the, your best game on. So what have, what have you whipped up? What is your version of the Bloody Mary here? So I, I took a little different spin uh, this year, just trying it out. Uh, the Bloody Mary Fest is an awesome time to like R&D a new Bloody Mary possibly mm -hmm. for your restaurant. Uh, this one, I kind of focused around the pickles, which I personally love pickles. Um, it's like an Escobeche style pickle. So like when you go to Ooh. like a, a Mexican restaurant, that condiment of the of the carrots and the jalapenos and the onions. Yeah. It's, I, I pickled it in that fashion. Oh, cool. Um, so I have uh, some uh, watermelon radish, hot uh, red peppers, cauliflower, and carrot. Oh. And uh, they're pretty spicy. That sounds and good. That sounds the, amazing. The base of the drink is I did a roasted corn infused vodka. Holy cow! Wow. And the Bloody Mary mix is uh, a little maybe more refreshing than some. It's uh, tomato juice, uh, a good amount of cucumber water. Uh, lime juice, uh, salt, pepper, and then some fresh herbs of dill and oregano. Oh, so you, you, are you, you, your team spicy Bloody Mary then, or is it just the food that's that's spicy that you kind of have uh, on there? Well, I, in the Bloody Mary itself, there's also a little bit of smoked chipotle powder <laughs> and a little bit of hot sauce. <laughs> that's but, what I'm talking about. But with and then okay. on the the rim, the salted rim, there's uh, smoked chipotle salt and some lime zest on oh, the rim too. Oh, so it's a lot of flavors playing with each other. Yeah. Um, I've tried it a quite a few times to make sure it was good. It good. <laughs> you approve? Yeah. Some good I approve. Research. Everybody, everybody at work approved too. So. All right, that's oh, great. Yeah. Sign yeah. sealed delivered. Tough, tough yeah. job, but some good research there. Well, so when folks go to the festival, uh, you're, you're not going to get 16 full-sized Bloody Marys. I know you, you brought the, the big <laughs> yeah, and beautiful like a, version. Like a half. Yeah, they're a little, they're, you know, pint-sized so that you can try all of them. What can people expect when they go? Um, well, from what I've heard in the past, it's very busy. Uh, I think like a couple thousand people passed through this event. Mm -hmm. um, I was told to be prepared to be able to serve at least seven to eight hundred Bloody Marys. Oh my, oh my gosh. So That's I imagine there's just a veggies. lot of people <laughs> walking around just tasting everything. And then there's yeah. some uh, voting for different categories at the end. Best overall, most creative, and I think best garnish. Oh, what, what, so is it, what does it mean? I mean, this truly is one of the more competitive cocktail competitions sure. in town. Yes. What, what does it mean? Do, you know, if, if you were to win, what, what does that mean for you? What does that mean for Fireside? Um, I think you, you win an award, you get some bragging rights. Yeah, you know, for it's sure. like you know some good some good face time for us too. I mean, you are really beating the best of the best if you win this competition. Yeah, in this town. And, and Fireside has done well. I know this will be your first time at the festival, but yes. Fireside has been there before and yes. is definitely one for the Bloody Mary fans. Hey, by the way, we wanted to mention. I know we're almost out of time, but you guys yes. are back open for lunch during the weekdays. How are things at Fireside? Yes, yeah, so we are open for lunch uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays. Uh, we also have brunch on Saturday, Sunday mornings, and then happy hour and dinner seven days a week. Mm. An awesome spot That's over there spot. in Northwest Portland, and not just their Bloody. 
Bloody Mary's good. I've tried quite quite a few cocktails on that menu. I've done the same. Yes. Great spot. <laughs> well, Randy, cheers. Well, Thanks thank for coming Thank you guys in. so much for having us. Appreciate Happy it. Thursday, Absolutely. Thursday. Best of luck. And yeah, good luck at this year's competition. You can check it out. The Bloody Mary Festival returns to the Red on Salmon Saturday, September 14th. Two different sessions to choose from. General admission tickets start at 55 bucks. For all the info you need, check out thebloodymaryfest.com. All right. Cheers. That's it for us, everybody. See you tomorrow.